Hi, I'm Dr. Ellen Turner talking to you today from the Dermatology Office about Botox Cosmetic. Botox Cosmetic is actually a purified protein that is used to rest the muscles of facial expression. Some of the muscle areas that we like to inject include the forehead lines, the frown lines or glabella, the crow's feet around the eye area, perioral lines around the mouth that sometimes are referred to as smoker lines, and also the chin can create sort of an orange peel effect that can be rested with Botox. Benefits to Botox include the fact that the procedure itself is very simple to perform. It's very easy for a physician to perform it in a matter of minutes. And the procedure itself is relatively pain-free and it takes just a couple of days for the Botox cosmetic to begin its work by resting those muscles of facial expression. And lastly, the safety of Botox Cosmetic is unquestioned. It's an extremely safe procedure to perform, and there has been no recorded incidents associated with safety and Botox Cosmetic. When we treat the patient with Botox Cosmetic, a medical assistant will typically take the patient back to the examination room and will determine what areas are of most interest for the patient to have injected. Based on those patient recommendations and guidelines, we will proceed to determine how much that particular patient will need. Classically, men require more Botox than a female based on the fact that they have more muscle mass than a female. So thus, their dosage would be slightly different from a female's dosage, even when injecting the same area of Botox. The patients, once they are ready and prepared, the doctor, myself, will come in, introduce myself, and we'll discuss and confirm the areas that they would like treated. At that point, it's a simple matter of icing the area to be treated, and then I simply inject a very fine needle into the surface of the skin. Many patients don't even report feeling the needle injection whatsoever, or they report very minimal discomfort. Finally, upon completion of that injection, the patients are instructed to ice post-procedurally, and we also use some topical products such as hydration and sunscreen to ensure they have best treatment in order to then go back to their lives of work and enjoyment. Botox typically takes approximately two to three days to begin its work by resting those muscles of facial expression, and it usually lasts between three and four months for the area being treated. Once the area moves, again, that's the time that the patient then needs to return for additional Botox therapy. I hope you'll find this message informative and that you'll ask the questions about future Botox for yourself.